They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But a piece of apple pie a day, well, that means you're American as f A recent study at Harvard School of Medicine has proven that 100% of 78% of Nazis hate pie. Perhaps this explains America's most recent fascination with pie. I'm Reese Witherspoon, and today we're going to examine the most sought after and coveted ingredient in American comedy, the pie guy. You've all wanted to know the details. Well, it's pie time we find out. <laughs> Welcome inside the pie guy. Yeah, I'll tell you a little joke. You want to hear a joke? Knock, knock. Who's there? Cake. Cake who? Get the off of my property. <laughs> he took a simple concept, like a joke, and he just, he added pie to it. I know, you're thinking, what? What is this? What is he doing? You can't do that. You just, you can't do, that's impossible. He did it. All right, so uh, one day I'm walking down the street, right? This guy, he asks me, uh, hey, uh, buddy, uh, I notice you like pie a lot. And, uh, you know, I figured it was obvious, and, he, uh, and I said, why wouldn't I? And he said, I bet I could get you to like cake. And I said, pie me, buddy. <laughs> I got raped that day. He wasn't just another clown. You know what's better about pie than cake? F you, that's what. <laughs> what he said had a purpose. What he said meant something. He had a voice. Nobody was doing what he did. He turned the comedy world upside down. He turned the comedy world upside down. He really changed the game of, uh, of comedy. He just flipped it upside down, served it like that, and uh, it's never been the same. If you were a pie, what kind of pie would you be? And I said, uh, after that day, the cream filled kind. <laughs> but I pie-grass, I pie-grass. There's nothing funny about cake. <laughs> I guess you could say he nailed it. And nailed it. Never nailed me though. There was this mate, and uh, he was all about cakes, and everybody loved his cakes. He made his cakes all the time, you know. And uh, he had a dinner party one night, and he was making his cakes, and he had this nice, delicious pineapple cake that he made. And he's rushing it out to the table to his friends. Everybody wanted a piece. They are all trying to grab it up, snatch them. And, uh, you know, he drops it, he trips over the dog and whatnot, and he, he and that falls down, and he's like, well, I sure don't have time to make another one, so I, I, I'll just serve this one the way it is, you know? Everybody loved it. That's what he did. He changed the game of cakes. And, you know, that's a lot like what he did, this bloke. You know, not with cakes, of course, but, uh, but with pie. All right, all right, it's a good crowd. But, uh, you know, I asked earlier if you like uh, cakes or pies. You know, it was a bit of a joke, obviously. You wouldn't be here if you didn't fancy uh, buy a little bit. Uh, uh, thank you for that, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, what's that? You prefer cake? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Here's your money back. Get the f*** out of here. Then one day, he just fell off the face of the earth. Eventually, time went off in his head, and he decided it was done. I think he's dead. Time to pull it out of the oven, and we've all just been kind of feeding off him since. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure he died. Yeah, he, he's dead. Definitely, definitely dead. That, or he's in an alley somewhere shooting Kahlua cream into his veins.
I was lucky enough to sit down with the pie guy and have an intimate interview with him. This comedic genius filled my senses with his humor. Let's take a look, shall we? How have you been? Uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've been pretty good, Brees. Been pretty good. <laughs> it's good. I'm good. <laughs> so what have you been doing the last 20 years or so? You know, I've been making pies. That's great. Yeah, living the dream, Reese. Okay. Why pie? Why, uh, why do you mean pie? <laughs> well, you f***ing retarded. Why pie? I, I'll tell you why pie. Uh, let's see. Pie didn't kill my parents. Pie never banged my wife. Pie didn't take my kids from me. I don't have to pay alimony to pie. You know, I can't really talk a lot about what pie did do per se, uh, the fact that you, you're kind of looking at it, Reese. But uh, I can tell you for sure, uh, you know, Pi didn't break up the Beatles. I heard you opened a pizza parlor. A pizza parlor? Uh, no, I opened a pie parlor. It happens to be pizza pie. We're chopping prices, Reese. How's business? Uh, we're closed. <laughs> That's great. Now, I've got to ask the question that's on everybody's mind. What do you have against cake? Cake? Is this a f***ing joke? Is this... I knew this wasn't a real interview. How about f*** you? That's what I've got against cake. Why don't you get the hell out of here? You get out of here. Stop looking at me. Get that f***ing camera out of my face. Get it out of here. So there you have it, the pie guy. Crazy, obsessed, or maybe just like you and me. I'm Reese Witherspoon, and you've just been inside the pie guy. What the hell, guys? I mean, wait a second. You said this was just gonna be whipped cream. Where's my producer? This got pecans in it. I'm allergic to nuts. Oh great, I'm going into an anaphylactic shock. See it? My tongue's glad. You get my epi- Don't you get my epi-